how do you balance i need to create separation but i also can't lose my identity i think most goalkeepers that i've met are like very big on their identity and what they bring to the table and their style mm-hmm. and i think how i went about it was for example that thing that we're always talking about like shifting my body behind the ball that i had like i struggle with i knew i wasn't going to be better in a short period of time the short period of time that i had which was a season at something that i know he's like Tomas was fully better than him yet but i did know that i know where my strengths lie and that being distribution and feet like playing out of the back cross taking i think i am a decent shot stopper i tried to put separation within what i'm good at so if i'm good with my feet and i know i could hold my own against anyone then i'm going to put as much attention on that and make it known that that is what i'm that's what i can bring to the table and that is you're going to get that every single time maybe the cross taking might not be on one day yeah. you know Tucson <laughs> <laughs> um maybe the cross taking might not be on maybe the shot stopping might be a little you know below average maybe the legs are heavy i can't get there or something but the feet are always going to be there and i will always be able to create a threat with my feet i will always be able to get us out of a situation with my feet and with Tomas i think we were both very even i think he has he holds some things over me that are better he's better than me at and i think i hold some things that i might be better than him at but again that's opinion um something i try to do is if someone's that close to me in level cuz i feel like it was we were very equal in that i try to bring in more personality i try to bring in more of a presence um a leadership role and kind of take care of the younger guys protect the younger guys help them and try to build somewhat of a family within the team yeah. and where they look at me and they say oh yeah that guy we we could trust him that guy is a uh, an old head almost so you gain a little at 24 bit. which is crazy <laughs> i feel old man i feel so old <laughs> i think that uh no you make, you make a good point i think that's where a lot of people can kind of get lost in a goalkeeper uh, i guess competition where do i see myself creating separation whether it's your own personal preference of how you see yourself playing and your identity as a player but also what the team needs i think trying to balance those two of yeah okay the team maybe that doesn't need somebody to be an incredible cross taker but i am but at the same time i can't try and force to show that and i've told a story before on a, a podcast that i did of uh, when i was younger trying to get scouted by ucla stanford and all that we had our academy showcase coaches came to watch and i told myself i need to be a hero today i need to come out for every ball i need to show that I have these skill sets that they've, you know, they've uh, scouted about me. And the, the game didn't offer that. Like the game didn't ask me to come out for crosses, but I did. I look like a fool. But again, it's that that's the idea, right? Of like playing within your own strengths, but at the same time, coupling what the team needs and then saying, okay, I can insert my strength here. I can insert my strength there. There were some games where I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, these passes are incredible. I mean, I can't even coach this. I'm, I'm not going to take credit for it. But there were moments where you were, I think, forcing the issue. And I think that was where you have a strength and we've seen how good it is for the team. But then you were trying to force it. So like in that situation, were you aware of like, man, I'm trying to do too much? In those games, because I remember it was in between breaks or in between. Uh, yeah, it was. I played a few games and I got pulled yes, yes. and then I came back. I know a lot of goalkeepers understand this is when you're on a streak and we had just came off of a streak that I, we had won a lot of games we had beaten San Diego um we had beaten like Phoenix OC we were like on a good run we had four wins and I get pulled I feel like it affects rhythm and for goalkeepers just I think being in rhythm is one of the most important things and just having consistent minutes and I think that match or those couple matches was I knew I was forcing it because I felt like I had been gone so long that I had to re-show what I was capable of. And even though I was aware of it, I yeah. still was like, "Nope, keep trying it." And yeah. I was just being a little stubborn until you pulled me off to the side one I think the second game, and you're like, "Dude, relax, just play how you know how to play. Do what you can do and don't try to be the hero. Like we already know what you offer." And that kind of just settled me I was like, "Oh, okay, I don't have to reprove that I'm yeah. good." I think that's a difficult part of, of goalkeeping in general in any, any position, I think, in any sport. As soon as you hold yourself to a certain standard and you try to, if you like fall off that standard or you, know, you get a situation where you're rotating games, you want to showcase why you should not have been pulled, if that's the right phrase. But it's like you always want to show the coach within like a play or two of like, this is what I can do. Just, I'm just here to remind you of what we can do. But it's almost like it can backfire. 
because again, in situations of like, you were doing it so naturally and it came to you so naturally because you had a good string of games and there's momentum there. And then as soon as you don't have that momentum, you want to get back to that feeling of the high. And it's so hard to res resist the temptation of doing it, I think. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult. And I think that comes with years and maturity and games. And I think that's something that I kind of learned this year, because even this last um, during the off season, the, the little friendlies that we had against. Uh, Galaxy, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more nervous for those games. And I was playing with guys that were way younger than me. They were like 19 year old, 20 year old kids. And playing with them, I was a lot more nervous than I was for like USL games because I felt the need to be better. Yeah. Because there's an expectation. There's an expectation like, okay, these guys are young. You can't mess up. You're, you're old. You have to show that you're better. Yeah. And by not trying to show that you're better and just doing what you have to do, you show that you're, you show why you're at the level you are at comes more natural yeah yeah so i think i learned that this year